Welcome to Not Quite Therapy. We're with Ophelia Bell, the uh, author of Sleeping Dragons on the Bus. Okay. And many, many more. So, um, tell us what you're currently doing with your writing. With this. Sorry, what? Um, you self-publish, and you're very prolific with it. It's actually your full-time job. So tell us about a little bit about that. Right. Um, well, I've, I've only been full-time for about a year, and it's only been recently that I've actually started earning a decent amount of income to consider myself um, sustainable, I guess. But it was just something that I wanted to do. I Once I started writing back in 2011, like, regularly, I fell in love with it and couldn't imagine doing anything else. Yeah, I couldn't either. Sure. So who is sure. your greatest? Sleeping Dragons, Omnibus, and much, much more. Okay, so um, back to the questions. When did you realize you had to be a writer? Uh, middle of 2011, maybe. Let's see. It was, yeah, it was about that time. I, I'd been writing, I started writing fan fiction um, back then and made friends with this wonderful woman who's my best friend now, and we, we both were writing together. We became writing partners, and we just kept talking about how much we loved this, this creative process, and we got really into the whole, you know, writing process, like, in the craft and stuff like that. You know, even with fan fiction, there's a lot you can learn, and it's a great yeah. place to start if you haven't written anything. Um, and then that just kind of evolved. I mean, we kept writing. I wrote every single day for a good year or more. Um, writing fan fiction, you know, I had, I had hopes to write something original someday, and then I got to the point where people were telling me my fan fiction wasn't very good fan fiction because it's too original. <laughs> um, so Darn. I was like, okay, well maybe I should turn this into a novel. So that's, that's what I did, and it, it it was yeah, it was around that time that I I realized I don't really want to do anything else. You know, I, I want to make this a career. I, I really want to do this every single day. You know, I, my 
day job at the time in all writing, but it was marketing type writing. It wasn't creative writing, and you know, this, this really became my passion at that point. And so, oh, well, here I am. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, and I love it. You, I can tell. Favorite place Where to write. Where is your favorite? Uh, right where I'm sitting right now is usually where I write. Um, I, over the last several months, I've done a, tried a few different things. I had a writing partner um, for a few months who lives in North Hollywood or lived in North Hollywood, and I'd drive down there and, and we'd go to this great little coffee coffee shop called uh, Joe Coffee on Lancashire, and I just loved that place. They have homemade pop tarts and really yummy drinks and stuff there. We just was a perfect little kind of bohemian coffee shop that we'd sit at for a couple hours uh, twice a week and write. Um, and now he's moved away, so I don't have as many excuses to go down there. It's kind of a, it's like a 30 minute drive, but I probably will at some point. But other than that, yeah, my desk, I've got a great little setup here. After I quit my job, my husband and I moved and so that was a priority for our new place was for me to have a, a dedicated writing spot. And so I've kind of set it up so that it feels nice and there's nice lighting. You can see the, the big window behind me. Yeah, I, I'm kind of envious. <laughs> the shelf is where my kitties <laughs> hang out. Mm -hmm. So. And if I'm not here... Writing, I do my writing at my desk, but if I'm editing, it's usually on the sofa because I need to get away from the internet and, <laughs> you know, focus on that. Print out my manuscript and take a pen to it. Where's my pen? This is my pen. I have one of these. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick click to make your notes. Yeah. Okay. How are you making such a success as a full-time author, especially self-publishing, which I think we already did at the beginning, but is there anything else you want to expand on that? Um, well, so publishing, I, I firmly believe that if you want to be a full-time writer and make a living at it, traditional, if you're just starting out, traditional is probably not the best way to go. It's, it's a lottery um, going There's, there's a gatekeeper. You have to get past like the age or um, editor submission process. Somebody has to decide that you're good enough. Mm -hmm. And with self-publishing, you can go straight to the readers and let them decide if you're good enough for them to buy your work. You don't have to let somebody else tell the readers that you're good. And I know so many self-published writers now who are making a, a decent living at it. And I, I'm just starting to. I made some marketing changes at the beginning of the year um, to where I'm actually earning more than minimum wage. <laughs> I think and at the end of last year, that's roughly what my average was, was well, California minimum wage, which is like $9 an hour. Which you can't live on that. Um, luckily, I have a great husband who supports me and you know pays most of our bills. But sooner or later, um, hopefully sooner, our incomes may flip flop. We'll see if, you know, cross my fingers that that happens, but it's looking that way. Um, but the biggest thing is just keep writing, you know, and just keep at it and keep learning how to market. All, there are all kinds of tricks you can learn about marketing your work, too. And that's, that's the hard part it's, for me. The writing is not the hard part. Editing is hard, but, <laughs> but the writing isn't that hard. The marketing part is just. It hurts my brain, <laughs> but you know, just a little bit at a time, and, and you know, as long as you're consistent, it will work. Um, and consistency, you know, just not stopping. If you go too long between book releases or between interacting with your readers, they'll forget forget about you. Yeah. You know? So you've got to stay visible. Um, doing. You know, from interviews like this, there are a lot of different things you can do to be a successful self self published author. But you don't. The best part is you don't rely on anybody else for your success. It's all up to you. Yeah, you don't just market your books; you market yourself.
Right, exactly. I really want to thank you for coming on and uh, sitting down for a few minutes with us and answering some questions.